friends and subscribers you're looking at a graph here that shows the millions of internet users in China and this will of course be larger than this well over the 600 million person mark by 2014 we're in the middle of 2014 now and uh, the Great Firewall of China as it's called well this is a, a subject that is important even if you're not uh, doing any business in China or live in China. Why? Because this technology is already at your front door or coming to a neighborhood near you very, very soon. And if you don't think so, just read some of the popular bills that have been passed in your local governments, national governments, whatever country you may live in. Fang Bingxing uh, is the father of the Great Firewall of China. Now, some of you may know uh, about the Great Firewall of China, some of you may not. Um, it was basically conceived uh, back when China had chosen the path. Now, it had two paths. One path was to social liberation. The other path was to economic liberation. They chose the latter. Uh, and uh, to do so, they have to suppress uh, social content uprising and uh, any tidbits of the truth as to what's really happening to come out and so what they do is they use a combination of hardware and software to block keywords and other uh, type of filtering to uh, prohibit Chinese nationals from getting access to the information they want they they did this to um, foreigners during the Olympic Games in 2008 and here's a list of some of the ways that they do it DNS poisoning, uh, basically what they do is they uh, associate a different IP address with the DNS uh, server name. They block access to IP addresses. This is the easy one and logical one. Uh, filter URLs um, up to the, the uh, very minute um, pages. Uh, filters and packets, uh, they reset connections, they block VPNs, they sniff out proxy servers that you may be using. Um, and that, that has taken place over many years here. Um, failure receiving network data, this is quite common. Now, Google and China have been going at this for a long, long time. And uh, obviously, a, as you know, Google has a tight relationship with the U.S. government. And China uh, does not like the fact that they uh, are meddling on their network. So Google, as you know, moved to Hong Kong, and the battle continues. Now... Here are the major techniques again for the major uh, blocking of the Great Chinese Firewall, IP blocking, DNS filtering, ULL filtering, packet filtering, and connection resets, which is very, very popular. This happens all the time. You'll access a Google service, and what will happen is it'll initially come up, and then it will get reset and start up again, and reset and start up again, and reset and start up again. This way, it doesn't look as if the site is blocked, and China can plead that uh, it's not uh, a result of what they're doing. It's a result of a bad connection. And um, all these tactics uh, are all fun and games, but it's very frustrating for someone to get anything done if they're not using a good VPN. Now, uh, these sites right here talk a little bit about the history of the Great Chinese Firewall. They talk about something that has occurred over the past year and a half or so. It's called mirroring. Now, Amazon is one of the big players in the cloud storage, cloud services realm, and their S3 uh, service basically allows you to get a lot of storage space and access that around the world and have some form of privacy um, against uh, you know peering eyes. So what a lot of activists are doing, they're using cloud storage to be able to block uh, or counter the great firewall, the tactics of the shy comps to prohibit them from seeing what they want. They will mirror the site at the cloud storage and then make that available to anybody that can access the cloud storage space. Now, what China can do is they can block cloud storage, but they don't want to do that. And one of the main reasons is, as you know, Amazon is a big player in China. They spend a lot of money here. Z.CN is the Chinese site for Amazon. They have, uh, of course, padded a lot of government officials with um, bribes and payoffs. You can be sure of that. And so they can't block uh, a lot of these cloud services because they're just two big players. And if you're 
paying for that cloud service, you can mirror whatever you want on there as long as it doesn't prohibit the, uh, say for example, the Amazon terms of use, which a lot of these uh, blocked keywords and websites uh, by China does not prohibit the cloud service from uh, giving you access to your paid site. Great Firewall of China bypassed by Cloud Mirrors. This will go over. I'll leave the link and it'll tell you a little bit how they're doing that and trying to bypass. It's always tit for tat as the Chinese continue to upgrade their systems so that they can combat new technology against them. Now, as you may or may not know, Cisco is really kind of guilty for this because in the beginning of the Great Chinese Firewall, they used Cisco technology to get a, get a handle Cisco servers and software uh, and routers to, to be able to handle uh, the massive amount of information coming through you know, their ports, all these packets that they have to monitor. And since then, they, what they've done is they've knocked off a lot of the Cisco stuff, the Cisco um, hardware. And one of the main players is, is this uh, uh, product uh, Downing. And uh, I, I've actually worked with some of this equipment, and I can tell you that uh, some of it is blatantly uh, copied from the uh, Western. I mean, to the point where there should be some kind of infringement on uh, copyright, uh, you know, design and all that. But we won't get into that. Um, basically, Cisco is one of the first players to work with the Shycoms on getting that. And so they're, they're kind of, you know, guilty of, of doing that just for the Chinese. And um, recently, as you may know, they have prohibited buying any Cisco equipment through government-related agencies in China. And I believe they're going towards a block of all Cisco hardware and Windows upgrades to software. And that is huge. 